Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Poco M4 and today I'll show you how you can record a screen on this phone. So to get started we're gonna pull down our notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen like so and then you'll see a bunch of toggles right here. Now if you don't see the screen recorder on the first page like it is visible for me you could swipe to the left and this will show you additional toggles on the second page. Anyway, once you find the screen recording, you can simply tap on it. This will give us an overview of different things that we can access from here. So the first one will be the record button. The folder icon takes us to a location which will display only the screen recordings. Then we got the settings and the close option. Now navigating into the settings, we have options uh, for custom customizing the screen recording quality. So by default it is set to a relatively decent preset with a 1080p resolution and a bitrate being 16 megabits which should be sufficient enough uh, though I'll probably recommend changing it to 30 frames which is the maximum that this device apparently can do. A little bit of underwhelming uh, quality or frame rate here but this is the highest one you can select so I recommend it. Anyway from there we're just gonna click on the record button and this will show us a countdown. It does fade a little bit as you can see. It's not going to be visible on a screen recording at all. And from here whatever application you'll open will be recorded minus things like the Netflix. I am opening up this app specifically just to kind of shit on it and uh, kind of showcase uh, this in action. But for the most part most of the applications should be visible and just to kind of prove the point I am going to open up something like what will be a good option. Maybe this. There we go. Good enough. Once you're done, interact with this transparent overlay and then select the square, red square one, to save the screen recording. This will automatically save the screen recording to your photos application, which is in the Google folder. And give it a second. If it didn't load it right away. As you can see it is visible right at the top for me so we can click on it to play it. Now uh, in a second you will see the Netflix uh, which I did showcase. Uh, the reason this happens which is this or after this I guess. There we go it's fully black screen so there's nothing that is going to be visible past the logo and this is just a scummy uh, way that applications have more access to your device than you do. So they basically black screen recorder from being able to see the screen. Now there is no way to undo this. You don't have control over this unless you root your device and and do something. Now there is also some some workarounds for certain devices, but in general, uh, you for the most part can't do anything about it. So. Uh, it's a basically middle finger from any kind of application that wants to prevent you from being able to see it uh, with a screen recorder. Now, just to explain this, this feature of blocking the screen recorder is actually useful when it's utilized correctly uh, because it is done for basically safety reasons. And uh, most of the time this will be utilized by bank applications, which you wouldn't want some other applications to have insight into. So. In this case, this would be a positive thing, but when it comes down to shitty applications like Netflix, there's no security that you would care for. It's the security of Netflix's wallet that they care about and not yours. So therefore you kind of lose some of the uh, control and uh, well, control over your own device basically, which is just fantastic. But in any case, uh, most of the applications will be recordable, so you shouldn't really worry about that for the most part. Um, but whenever you see just a fully black screen, just know that whatever you're trying to record simply was preventing you from doing so. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.